hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today in today's video i'm going to be giving you four tips that you need to excel in your IELTS speaking personally i took the IELTS last year november and i had an overall band score of a so basically let me give you an overview of what the IELTS exam is all about The IELTS is the International English Language Testing Scoring System. It's an English test which checks your proficiency in speaking, listening, reading, and writing. There are several types of the IELTS, although I'm going to be talking about the IELTS General and the IELTS Academic because the speaking is the same thing in both the IELTS General and IELTS Academic. So why people who need this kind of content? If you are planning to go to Canada on Express Entry, I understand you need to write the IELTS General. This video is for you. If you are planning to come to the United Kingdom or Australia or do your masters in Canada, this video is for you as well because I understand you need to write the IELTS academic for that. If you are a doctor or a nurse or any professional who is planning to the UK to work, this video is for you as well. So now let's go in detail about the IELTS speaking. In the exam hall, you will be with your examiner and your conversation would be recorded. It's a kind of interactive kind of exam. How long does the exam take? The exam takes a duration of 11 to 14 minutes. So what does the examiner check? What do they mark exactly in your eye or speaking? They want to check your fluency. They want to check your clarity. And they also want to check your grammatical accuracy. So basically, the IELTS speaking is divided into three parts. The first part is, I wrote them down because I don't want to forget any detail. The first part is, is um, you'll be asked questions about yourself and your family. Questions like, um, tell me about you, tell me about your family, what kind of house do you live in, what, what country are you from. Those are the types of questions they usually ask in your part one. Then in part two, you'll be asked about a topic. And the part three, you have a longer discussion about the topic introduced in part two. So don't worry, when the part two is about to begin, you would be given a pencil and a paper to jot your point so that you wouldn't forget. So now let's dive right into the tips for the IELTS speaking test. Before I begin that, I forgot something. So Basically, in your IELTS test, if you are asked anything that you don't have any idea of, okay, for instance, if you are asked to talk about someone who inspires you, or if you are asked to talk about someone who motivates you, or if you are asked about a place where you've been to in the past, let me give you guys one trick to use. Have these five words at the back of your mind. No matter what the question is, if you are able to relate it with these five words, you will definitely be able to answer them. So let's dive right into the five words I'm talking about. So guys, thank me later for these five words <laughs> if you didn't know them already. So the words are who, when, where, why, and what. So now, for instance, tell me someone who motivates you. So now this is how you relate it to these five words I just gave you. So you want to say who the person is, if the person is your husband, if he's your manager, if he was your teacher, you want to say who the person is. Secondly, you want to say when, when did you meet the person? You want to say where you met the person. That's where where comes in. And then why do you like this person? You want to give at least three or four adjectives to qualify this person. If the person is hardworking, if the person is resilient, if the person is conscientious. If possible, have five adjectives to back and call that you can use to qualify a person. And then the last thing is what has this person done exactly to inspire you? So that is where these five words come into play. So if you have these five words, in your mind there is no how you will not be able to answer any question if they say okay tell me about a place you went to in the past you will also be able to relate the place you went to where the place is the name of the place how you had fun in the place and all of that so basically having these five words at your back and call is actually integral when you are preparing for your IELTS speaking so now let's dive right into the four tips that i have prepared for you guys the first tip is for you to greet the examiner and smile you know when you smile it shadows any kind of anxiety you might actually be having so when you greet and then you smile that's actually the beginning of your exam like it's actually nice even though your examiner wouldn't have 
started recording from that point but it's okay for you to greet the examiner with a handshake smile and wait for he or she to ask you to sit down that's the first tip the second tip is for you to speak with confidence guys you've been learning english since when you were in primary school or actually nursery school or let me say since time immemorial you've been learning english for a long time so there is nothing they would ask you that you don't already know so just release it with confidence and make sure whatever you're saying is coming with so much clarity you're fluent whatever you're saying is void of grammatical errors so the third tip is for you not to be monosyllabic oh gosh you can't afford to be monosyllabic in your il speaking you want to try to be as interactive as you can because if you're monosyllabic how will they check if you're fluent in english how do they want to check your grammatical accuracy yes. it would be absolutely impossible for your examiner to check that so try not to give a yes or no answer for instance if you were asked do you like to swim in a pool or an ocean then you'll say no i'm not a good swimmer no try me interactive you'll be like oh well i'm not a good swimmer however if i were to choose between swimming in a pool or an ocean i'll be fair to swim in a pool um basically because the ocean has a lot of tides and i might not be able to maneuver my way through it so guys i advise that you should be as interactive as much as you can with that the sky is a starting point for your eye speaking the last but not the least tip is that you should be spontaneous you guys know what that means being spontaneous means you shouldn't hesitate too much before you answer your question and that doesn't mean you should just answer like that no you can pause digest your question and answer so for instance if you don't know the answer to a specific question like immediately you can use a delay tactic that i'm going to teach you you can just be like well hmm that's a very interesting question however I would like to take a second to think about it or you can be like oh well that's very interesting i never actually thought about that um can i have a second to think about it and then you are thinking as you're saying, oh well oh wow oh well <laughs> you're actually thinking and then you're arranging your answer it's better for you to do that than for you to give an answer that is not related to the question you've just been asked that would the examiner of and it will seem robotic to your examiner guys and you don't want that so that would be the final tip i would give about the il speaking if you enjoyed this lesson there are several ways for you to let me know first of all by giving me a thumbs up secondly by leaving a comment right down below thirdly by sharing this content on all your social media platforms because you never know who is planning to write the IL and you might actually be helping a lot of people without even knowing would you not like that <laughs> thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so that the next time i release similar content you will definitely be the first to know